Your Honours, this is case number IT9832-1, the Prosecutor v. Milan Lukic. Thank you. In light of the amendment of the indictment uh, against Mr. Lukic, we are here to uh, give him the opportunity to tender pleas to the amended charges. Um, and what I propose to do is uh, to invite him to plead in respect of all the charges uh, against him for the avoidance of any doubt about the effect of the amendment. Before we proceed to that, there are one or two formalities to be dealt with. First of all, Mr. Lukic, can you confirm to me that you are hearing the proceedings in a language which you understand? We need the microphone, I think, so that you can answer properly. Častni sud, razumijel sam. Can you now hear what I'm saying to you? Yes, Your Honor, I hear and I can understand what you're saying. You hear it in a language which you understand. Yes, Your Honor, I can. Technical difficulty. It sounds as though things are okay, but if you at any stage do not hear clearly in your own language, what is being said by any of the parties here, please draw my attention to it. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, now, can I ascertain who appears this morning for the prosecution, first of all? <coughs> Good morning, Your Honor. Mark Harmon, Fergal Gaynor, and case manager Lee Slot called. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Harmon. Mr. Carnavas, would you identify yourself, please? Good morning, Your Honor. Michael Carnavas for Mr. Milan Lukic. Thank you very much. <coughs> now, Mr. Lukic, uh, what will now happen is that the uh, court deputy will read to you just a very brief summary of each of the charges that you now face on the, f on the new indictment. And at the end of each little summary, it's only a few words in each case, he will ask, do you plead guilty or not guilty? And you should indicate to him um, the nature of the plea, whether you plead guilty or not guilty. Now, do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor, thank you. And just one uh, thing, I probably jumped ahead of myself, Mr. Carnavas. I should have confirmed with you, as was indicated to me informally, that the accused was happy to waive the right of the indictment read in full to him at this stage. Uh, thank you, Your Honor, for reminding us all. I was worried a little bit. Yes, I did want to indicate that we waived the reading of the indictment. Uh, he has been advised of his rights. And I know that he will do so very shortly, with, but on his behalf, I enter not guilty uh, to, uh, to all the charges. Thank you. Um, while that sounds like a, a very sensible way to proceed, the, the traditional practice here is, is at least to summarize each of the charges individually and to take a plea from the accused on each charge individually. Now, while this is done, Mr. Lukic, could you stand up, please? Court Deputy will now read each, each charge individually and you should tender your plea uh, one by one. Count one. Persecutions, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty, Your Honor. Count two. Murder, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty, Your Honor. Count three, murder, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not guilty, Your Honor.
Not guilty, Your Honor. Count four, inhumane act, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Pass in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count five, cruel treatment, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Pass in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count six, murder, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and Korea. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count seven, murder, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and Korea. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count eight, extermination, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and Korea. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count nine, murder, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and Korea. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 10, murder or violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and Korea. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 11, inhumane acts, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and Korea. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 12, cruel treatment, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 13, extermination, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 14, murder, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 15, murder, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 16, inhumane act, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 17, cruel treatment, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 18, murder, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 19, murder or violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 20, inhumane act, a crime against humanity. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Count 21, cruel treatment, a violation of the laws or customs of war. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Just in Sudanese and clear. Not guilty, Your Honor. Please be seated, Mr. Lukic. <coughs> Thank you. In view of the pleas that have been tendered, um, I invite the registrar to arrange a trial in due course, although I understand there are other proceedings also ongoing in relation to this particular accused. Um, the effect of the decision in relation to the amendment of the indictment is that Mr. Lukic has until the 21st of April to file any preliminary motions in terms of Rule 50C and the prosecution will have 14 days after that to file any response. Beyond that, I do not think there are any procedural issues that I have to address. Mr. Harmon, is there anything else you wish to raise? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Canavas? <clears throat> I don't wish to raise anything, Your Honor, but I do understand that Mr. Lukic did have something that he wished to raise with the trial chamber. Well, the pre-trial judge. Mr. Lukic, Mr. Kalmavas advises me that there is something you wish to address me on. What is that? Da, gospodine sudia. Ja bih teo... Yes, Your Honor. I'm not quite clear on the matter of the attorneys and an adequate defense, and for those purposes, I would like to have Mr. Carnavas as my um, defense counsel, but since the registry did not 
grant my request, I would like to ask the trial chamber and the registry that if Mr. Carnavas is not able to be the um, chief uh, defense counsel, for at least uh, that he at least be in the team, because he's familiar with my case right from the beginning since the my, my arrest and my extradition from Argentina. So in order to have um, an adequate, uh, proper uh, defense, I would like to have Mr. Um, Carnavas uh, in the team if he's not uh, able to be the lead counsel. This is what I wanted to address you on, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Lukic. Mr. Carnavas, do you want to comment on that? Uh, yeah, very briefly, very briefly, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Lukic and I go back uh, as early as uh, November last year. Uh, I did assist him throughout the proceedings. I had met with the, I had contacted the prosecution on his behalf before he came here. Uh, Mr. Lukic was denied having access to me on his arrival, which caused some concern. Uh, thereafter, there are some, some things that happened that caused him to lose confidence in the way the registry is handling the situation. In any event, uh, the, I've indicated to the registry that, in my opinion, there's not a scheduling conflict, that I'm able to assist in light of the procedure that has already you know, put in motion regards to this case. But they've sought, uh, they, they think otherwise. Uh, Mr. Lukic, in any event, has asked me if I would stay on either as a co-counsel or as a consultant. I had indicated to him that I would, uh, you know, I have no objections to that. I would assist him. I am familiar with the case. Uh, we have begun a particular procedure that we think that can uh, resolve this case in an expeditious manner uh, to everyone's satisfaction. I think that's the most uh, important thing. and. Now it's up to the registry and his honor to, uh, to decide. Uh, he is concerned about the situation with respect to Argentina. I'm now told by the registry that that is an open issue, that uh, the registry never made guarantees to the government of Argentina that he would not be extra uh, transferred to Sarajevo. This is news to Mr. Lukic. I've sought uh, disclosure material from the registry. We have not received it. I'm told that perhaps I'm being overzealous in representing Mr. Lukic at this stage since I'm not his permanent counsel. Uh, although as counsel of record, I think I'm obligated to carry out whatever instructions given to me so long as they're ethical and within the rules of procedure. But I I if you were to fall into the category of, of consultant as you describe it, is there a funding difficulty? Pardon? If you fall into the category of consultant yes. as you have described it, is there not then a funding difficulty? Well, the funding difficulty would be for, what, as I understand, we now have this lump sum system. And it would be within oh, yeah. the, uh, yeah. the lead council to, you know, to remunerate. Oh, There's a funding problem to, be, to start with with every case here, but, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. But it's not, it's, it's not a matter of, of funding and us asking for additional funds. It's a matter of Mr. Lukic wanting me and the team mm. to assist in this, uh, then guide him through the process. Uh, he has uh, met with two very good lawyers, both of whom I, I recommended uh, for him to choose. Uh, so I'm confident in his choice, whatever, whoever he chooses. I'm, uh, I've worked with him. I've had long associations with him. Uh, and so I'm willing to work with either one and, of course, assist the trial chamber uh, in any capacity that, uh, that I can. But it's, I leave it up to the registry and I leave it up to, you, to the trial chamber. Thank you. All right, well, I think I have a clear uh, understanding of the issue involved. Uh, it's not something I can deal with at this stage, but uh, I will uh, consider whether there is anything I can do on the matter. And if there is, then you'll be alerted to what action I think I can take. Thank uh, you, Mr. Carnival. Uh, thank you. Mr. Harmon? Your Honor, uh, I will inform the court uh, that it is our position that Mr. Carnivas has a conflict of interest in representing uh, this defendant and representing defendants, a, a past defendant. We have made that clear in correspondence to Mr. Carnivas. There have been discussions about that. While we agree to disagree, our position is there is a conflict of interest, and our position is that uh, Mr. Carnivas's continued association in the case will 
create difficulties for us in terms of resolving the case. I mean, uh, briefly uh, respond uh, to this. No, no, hold, hold on. Um, uh, first of all, Ms. Mr. Harmon, are you aware of the basis on which the registry have taken the stance that they have taken? I am not, Your Honor. I'm so, informing so, the court of an independent and Well, that, that, that's that, because that's not the message I was getting from, from the submissions made. I, I didn't form the impression it was an issue of conflict of interest in the sense of a previous case. I understood what was being submitted to me was a conflict of um, commitments rather than a conflict of interest. Now, have I understood that correctly, Mr. Uh, Carman? You, you have, if I may respond. Yes, certainly. Uh, with respect to the registry, their issue is that there is a scheduling conflict. Uh, so uh, that's that. Yeah. With respect to the prosecution, they have sent two letters. They say that there is a conflict of interest. They don't say what that conflict of interest is other than I represented Mr. Blagojevic in one case and they believe that uh, Mr. Lukic may have been involved in, uh, in Srebrenica. They haven't provided any specific evidence. They haven't shown anything. I've met with them. They haven't said anything of the sort. I'm waiting for it. He hasn't been indicted. There's nothing in the indictment with respect to Srebrenica. So until such time, and I'm, by the way, I've spent three years working nonstop on that case. In my professional opinion, there is no conflict of interest as of yet. Now, if they have information, which I don't have, that reveals that, I will be the first one to withdraw. I, I understand my ethical obligations. So I just want to make that very, very clear. Having said that, I also want to point out to Mr. Harmon, because he may not be aware of this, that currently there is a lead counsel in Srebrenica who is also involved in the Blagojevic case representing his lead counsel, Mr. Jokic. So there seems to be sort of a flexible approach in how they see these conflicts of interest. If they see an advocate perhaps that they don't want to have on the one side, they may say there's a conflict of interest. On the other hand, they may take a more flexible approach. I don't know. But I can tell you that if we're going to go down that route, then at least they should pre present specific evidence. Let me look at it. And as a professional, uh, I will withdraw. But as of the moment, I have not seen any evidence that gives me any discomfort that I have a conflict of interest. And as a long-time public defender, I'm fully aware of what a conflict of interest is. And I'm willing to sit down with Mr. Harmon. On a confidential basis, he can disclose to me what he believes the conflict to be. I think we're both reasonable individuals. I know I am. And I have no reason to believe that he's not. So, if, if, you know, and I'm, I'm sure he is. So that's my position, uh, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Mr. Carnivus. Uh, Mr. Harmon, do you want to uh, say any more about the nature of this conflict? Your Honor, I was involved also in the Shrebenica prosecutions, and I'm familiar with the evidence, as is Mr. Carnivus. I don't care to say more about it at this point in time. Uh, Mr. Carnivus is familiar with the evidence. He's familiar with intercepts. Uh, I'd be glad to provide that to Mr. Carnivus. Uh, and uh, we will uh, continue some discussions in this no. respect, but I will inform the court that uh, our view is, uh, it's a firm view, and uh, our view uh, is one that uh, is that if Mr. Carnivas uh, is involved in this case, uh, a resolution of this case because of the conflict of interest will be problematic. Well, um, it, it's all a mystery to me. Uh, the, the, obviously, the previous involvement of a counsel in, in a related case or a case with crossover evidence, similar evidence, almost identical case, is not does not necessarily amount to a conflict of interest. So there must be something in there that, that um, for good reason, no doubt, uh, it's inappropriate for us to be discussing here. But uh, one thing I can say, Mr. Harmon, from um, the sense I have of uh, where this case may be going, that this should be resolved 
one way or another quickly. Um, this case, or the case relating to this accused, has a knock-on effect on that of his co-accused. It inevitably has a knock-on effect on the overall business of the tribunal. And at the moment, we seem to have an accused and a willing counsel who wish to talk to you um, positively about how this matter might progress. Um, therefore, it seems to me in the interest of everyone to knock out of the way any barriers. Um, and what Mr. Carnivas appears to be offering is the opportunity to discuss that, the barrier that you see in the way, and, and uh, an opportunity to try to decide one way or the other whether it's uh, insurmountable or not. So I hope that following today that discussion can take place rapidly. Um, I think that I will nevertheless, uh, hoping that it will be resolved one way or the other, um, apply my mind to the issue of the registry and if there is something I think that I can raise or deal, uh, attend to there then I will attend to it. Now is there anything else? Nothing Your Honor for the prosecution. Thank nothing you. Your Honor. And thank you very much. Thank you. Well Mr. Lukic that concludes the proceedings for this morning. The court is now adjourned and you will meanwhile remain in the custody of the tribunal. All rise for you over the way.